Hello, this is Kiram. I'm giving a brief tutorial video on the SGA mod folder switcher and to give some highlights on how to work with the favorites folder option that comes with this particular tool. So as you can see here in the video on the left hand side I've got the file explorer open with which goes to my farm sim 22 mods folder and then on the right hand side I've got the SGA application open uh, to give a rundown on what we can do. So basically what you want to do uh, is uh, set up a folder to hold your mods which you can see on the left side of the video and I've got several folders in there. So I've got a uh, backup folder from FS19 maps in case I decide to go back to playing some FS19. I've got individual folders set up for different maps like a Brazilian map. I've got the no man's land map, PV county maps, or pardon me, P PV maps which are also from SGA. And I've got a folder for random multiplayer maps. So if I want to join a random multiplayer or an existing multiplayer, I've got my mods uh, for those or an area where I can download those mods too. And I have the Western Australian uh, map as well, the Vorex. I play on that. And so that covers the folders for the individual game maps that I play within FS22 and then of course FS19 above. The other folder that I've created is a favorites mod folder and in there I've got the most common mods that I use so like course play, um, auto drive, uh, the real dirt mods. Um, I'm a case fan so I like the custom modding case axial flow combines and uh, of course those lovely honeybee headers. Anyways those are just a few examples of certain mods that I usually play with and I've got a whole whack of them. So I treat this folder like any, uh, I just dump the mods in there or you can set this as your game game folder existing gameplay folder which means um, I've got the directory path set so that when I open the game it looks in this folder for the mods right so to keep this updated you can go into the game with this particular folder selected go to the mod hub section and just you know download the individual mods as you see fit and update this folder that way uh, something like course play or auto drive or maybe even terra farming most of those mods uh, sometimes they are updated on the mod hub but uh, as you may know with auto drive and course play uh, sometimes they update weekly or monthly before they even upload to mod hub and you want to get the latest greatest from the githubs that they run you can download their zip files to your PC then just drag it into the favorites folder or, or mods folder right so that's pretty much just a simplified process of how to update this folder once it's updated um, you'll be able to utilize it uh, which I'll talk about how you can go ahead and run updates and uh, get that all squared away but there's a few other things that we need to cover first um, with programming SGA to recognize uh, these individual uh, files and folders and stuff like that. So uh, when you open up the SGA uh, application, uh, it'll look like this, which is on the right hand side of the video and you have all sorts of different uh, buttons here so no man's land is already created pv county maps is already created random multiplayer the 
Brazilian map button is created and a favorites folder map is created. Now, if you don't know how to create a button relating to a folder, all you need to do is just choose one of these select folder buttons and it'll give you instructions on how to do that so you can change your folder and you basically go to the specific directory where uh, these individual folders are in the Explorer area. You can give it a name so maybe you want to um, create a map folder for or start a gameplay session for uh, let me see here um, Comston Farm so give it a title you can change the button color so we'll set it to green change the text color now and then you can go ahead and you can basically create your buttons right and you can click here to cancel or click here when finished I'm not going to create the button but I'm going to just click here to cancel so that's how you get the buttons in there the next thing you need to do is you need to program SGA to understand where your favorite folder is so you click options Having a little bit of trouble here with the uh, sometimes that will happen if you do have issues. Simply close this out. We'll rerun SGA. So we go to options. So optional menu will come up. So I'm just going to show you that. So this is how the options will show up. And you can click on favorite mod folder button which is a yellow one and specify where this folder is uh, by going down the drop downs this option will then give you the ability to hit copy favorites to current active folder so right now I have the default folder selected up here so we hit that button and it'll start taking the files from that directory the favorite mods folder and move it into that particular folder so it's going to just do a quick update I do play on Elm Creek so I use the default folder to play on Elm Creek if it already has a file existing uh, you can skip it if you wish uh, just keep in mind you may have some mod mismatches so if you're uncertain you're just better to just choose replace um, if a dialog box does come up uh, while during the transfer So it's just moving along quite nicely here. There we go. And you would use this options menu area uh, to basically copy your files to the specific folder. As we get continuing to move on here. And it's almost done.
And that when, then it'll tell you when it's been completed and you just hit OK on that. And you can close out the options. So that was to the default folder. If I want to update No Man's Land, you can do that by clicking on No Man's Land. Make sure that it's highlighted. You can tell by this little green box right here next to it. Go back to Options. Copy Favorites to Current Active Folder. Now, like I said, um, you can replace existing files. This is for sure going to um, update all your folders. That's your best bet. But the problem with that is that maybe you may have, uh, you may not want to replace and you just want to uh, skip those specific files because you already know that they're updated and you only put in maybe two updates into the folder. Uh, but with CoursePlay and AutoDrive, generally they use the same naming conventions, so you may not want to skip. So, but I'll just go ahead and skip this one time. And it goes a lot quicker. So you can utilize that to your, to your own efforts or, or to your own conclusion. and then you close this out and then your directories are now updated so then all you need to do is go ahead and play uh, farming simulator uh, 22 or 19 this will work with 19 as well uh, just remember that uh, you want to select the specific button for whichever game you want to play now you've made some changes inside of this application. You may have created a button or you may have changed the uh, directories uh, to your folders or favorite folders. Um, if that is the case, my suggestion, instead of hitting the X up here in the upper right hand corner, you want to hit exit. Sometimes there's an odd glitch where I've noticed that sometimes directory paths for buttons or directory paths in here are lost. And then you have to redo everything, which means you have to create all these buttons again and you have to set all these settings again. Your original directories that you've created on your hard drive will not be affected. But for the setup and the settings, just be sure to hit exit just to save yourself some grief of having to reset everything up. And then that closes out. And you're uh, pretty much uh, good to go at that point. And uh, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to reach out and uh, have a great day. All right. Bye.